टू माई YouTube चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अनदर एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक विच इज़ रनिंग शेड्यूल जॉब्स यूजिंग पी जी बॉस सो वॉट आर शेड्यूल जॉब्स लाइक इन एनी ऑफ द बैक एंड प्रोजेक्ट और एनी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट दैट यू आर डेवलपिंग यू माइट एनकाउंटर अ सीनेरियो वेर यू टू सेंड टेन थाउजेंड ई मेल्स एट मिड नाइट और इवन इफ यू नीड टू डू ए डेटा बेस क्लीन अप एट एवरी वीकेंड so manual cron jobs are not resilient so why to use pg boss uh, so there are scalability issues with cron or set interval functions there is a risk of a lost job during the server crashes like you uh, don't have any retry mechanism if you are uh, dependent on cron and also you need a high infra and a wide range of distributed system like kubernetes or a serverless architecture so solution is very simple clean and quite ambient and which is pg boss it is a postgres based scheduling queue and retrying and monitoring tool so it is like a quite a good friend of postgresql so what is pg boss so pg boss is a built in extendable feature of postgresql it helps in uh, job scheduling recurring jobs so like it is actually a very good open source tool where you can build a lot of uh, like dynamic features in your product what are the edge cases like you can build an email campaign you can do some maintenance tasks you can do some data aggregation and all those stuffs and what is the infra that you require is just the postgresql transactional safety and no additional infrastructure so how to connect to uh, pg boss uh, it's quite simple uh, i will show you i will let you go through the you know, node js application uh, so inside my package log json i have installed pg boss so you can do an npm i of pg boss the postgresql and any of the orm you prefer i am using prisma for this project so you can just do npm i and your pg boss is ready to set uh, for your project now we will uh, go through a step by step approach how you can uh, publish a job how you can subscribe a job and how worker threads are created uh, what are the scheduled jobs you can put into uh, what is the retry mechanism you can put into so th this is a very basic job that you can do use pg boss and postgresql so uh, let me go through the code uh, structure that we have derived so inside your app directory which is like app.js which is the main entry point of your node js application so when you start your app our uh, post pg boss instance is been invoked so how can we invoke it just create a new instance of pg boss and you can provide a database pg boss url so inside your env file uh, we have this pg boss url and you can create a fresh instance there are internal events like on error or on complete or any job related transaction it will directly log to your terminal so once you have created your instance and there are no errors you can just start your uh, pg boss server but there are certain prerequisites like you should have this pg boss uh, database uh, inside your uh, like this cluster and it internally creates uh, six uh, tables within this i will go through this one by one and explain uh, what are the things going on in the background so once you have created a sig uh, this is a structure of a singleton instance where uh, like the boss instance is invoked once and you don't have to again 
initialize it again and again so you just have to initialize it once and then you have to register your job and you can uh, schedule your, your worker threads to uh, run all the asynchronous tasks in your background okay so I hope like uh, you are there till now like whatever things I have explained so you can publish a job and you can listen to this and handle the job in a like a pop sub manner or you can say like in a uh, event queuing manner so like when you emit any event something like this it listens to it and it will send an email so this is a simple very basic example how you can, you can use pg boss for pop sub patterns now let us say you want to run a job after 24 hour let's say like your trial oh yeah your free trial is a getting expired or any inactivity uh, of user that you want to provide a reminders to user that you are going to be logged out of the system you can set a reminder and like you can add the duration in this in this like third parameter so this is the data and this is the duration that you are providing I will also uh, provide a small demo of how I have like initialized this thing and we will also run a scheduled job in background okay now uh, let's say you want to run a db cleanup at midnight at like 2 am so you can schedule a job named as night cleanup you can set up the cron setting and you can provide a actionable and with this worker thread it will do the db cleaning thing so this is a really nice concept to explore and you can also add the retries and failure mechanism and all those stuffs like there are lots parameter that pg boss handles now also we know that there are some unstable jobs like you have to provide an exponential backoff in your code infra so you can do some configurations like this uh, so that you can like uh, configure the retries and you can work on it manner now uh, you can also run the concurrent jobs like you have five concurrent jobs to process an image let's say you want to compress an image or decompress or upload an image to any of the uh, cloud infra like s3 bucket you can do uh, provide a concurrency size here and it will run five concurrent jobs at in a single go so these are some of the events and you can like monitor it if you if any of the job is failed it will directly be logged inside the database if any of the event is complete that status is to logged inside your system now let's go with the demo and i hope like you will really like this so let's say we have initialized the pg boss instance so that we can use it throughout our application then we have registered a job and uh, what is the job name i want to provide i want to send email to the customers and the time zone that i have selected is the american chicago which is a cst time zone so i have a uh, scheduled a job so pg boss dot schedule is a basic syntax you can provide the job name at what time you want to run your scheduled job okay and the data i am providing like let's say i want to run the scheduled job for the test subdomain so this is the data part that you can add on and the time zone is cst time zone uh, like you can have your own preference so if I run CST time now, it is 12.36 p.m. there and we can 
configure it as per our uh, schedules okay so this is the brief insight until now and this is how a job is registered now let's say we want to make our workers uh, work when the job is been received so let let us invoke our instance from the pg boss and you can work upon the job name provided and once the uh, like once it receives all the job we can handle a dynamic job handler and inside the job dynamic job handler i have did nothing but i have sent email to customer so this is the asynchronous task which is running in the background and once it completes its job it uh, logs that the email is sent to customers so you can add certain listeners here is like pg bo boss instance dot on uh, where was i on complete you can log the job sub uh, job succeeded message so this is a really cool feature now let us start our application i have already installed all the required uh, things but before that before that uh, it's too early we need to explore the structure that it provides so uh, as we know it has an archive table it has a job table and you are able to see the little p symbol which is the partition symbol okay so uh, <clears throat> so what is the first thing that we are doing like is we are uh, initializing initializing and registering a job so first you have to create a queue by a constant so what it does is like it will register a partition number and a partition name for your job so this is the partition that it will be applied to this job and subsequently the job will run okay so uh, based upon your partition your job will be running in the background whether it's a queue management or we have did a schedule management so i have added a schedule management job uh, it will be executed here so once uh, like uh, this schedule is been registered it will start based on the priority provided and it will create a state whether it is failed or whether it is succeeded or the job is completed okay so i hope you have got a brief understanding of how schedule like this pg boss configures all the scheduled jobs for you so it is 12 40 pm let's say i want to configure a job for 12 41 and i am running my node.js server i have some breakpoints configured and so it it already started a job for me and so you are able to see here the name and the state is completed okay it's too early but let let us keep the time as 241 here 242 and let us restart the server okay now let us wait for a minute and you will be able to see that it will start running the scheduled emails to my customer in background so just a minute like you can get all the states registered here like uh, cron is scheduled at 242 so every single oh uh, like every single data is being logged in your database so that's why i like this tool extremely like 
it is really useful so let us wait for a minute let us see the time in the browser it's 42 it's about to run so let us wait for a while is my cron string yeah so here you are able to see it is processing the job and a log is been attached so my worker threads uh, start the job as soon as it receives all the jobs my dynamic handler uh, sends email to all the customers and once the email is been sent it will create a log at the end so i hope uh, you like this video and there were a lot more learnings uh, uh, with a very simple and insightful tool uh, which is the pg boss so i hope you want more topics like this so that's it from my end have a nice day